Welcome back to Moving to Hampton Roads. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at three neighborhoods that are kind of off the beaten path, really close to Bush Gardens and Water Country USA in Williamsburg, Virginia. So stick around and we'll get right to it. My name is David Tortellini. I'm with EXP Realty, and every single day I help people just like you buy and sell property here in Williamsburg, Virginia, and throughout all of Hampton Roads. If this is your first time to the channel, do me a favor and subscribe and hit that little bell so you can get alerted to all of our new videos. Then when you're ready to get started with your move, give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. I would love to help you out. So talking about our three neighborhoods for today, we are gonna start in Highgrove, which is where we are right now. And then we'll move to the next two after that. But we are located actually in Northern York County. So this is a, just a, a part of Williamsburg, York County, James City County, so City of Williamsburg combined to make Williamsburg. Kind of confusing. So we are York County Schools, Magruder Elementary, Queens Lake, middle school and Bruton High. We'll put a link to uh, niche.com below so you can check out the ratings for those schools. I know they're all really good. So this area where we are, people really like it here in general because you are on the southern end of Williamsburg, which makes it really easy to get to places like Fort Eustis or Langley Air Force Base. So I actually have two clients who live in the neighborhood that we're in now. One is a doctor at Fort Eustis, and the other one is a firefighter at Langley Air Force Base. So I know for a fact it's good for those kind of people. But it really does give you access to go up to, up to the rest of Williamsburg, down to Newport News, Hampton, those sorts of areas so that you can get to like the Newport News shipyard in about 30, 35 minutes. So it's a really convenient location to be in. And because we are going to be pushing east of, of Merrimack Trail, uh, Jefferson, it's called Jefferson when you're in Newport News and it turns into Merrimack Trail. Because we're east of there, we're really kind of in this no man's land area where, you know, Water Country USA is about two minutes down the road from here. And then Bush Gardens is maybe five or six minutes in the opposite direction. So if you have kids, you have to get the Bush Gardens Water Country Combo Pass because that'll pay for itself about 50 times over every year. You know, that is, that's going to be the pass that you want to have because, uh, you know, having those so close to you is going to make life so is unbelievably easy and it's such a huge benefit. I mean, huge water park, huge, you know, huge amusement park too. It just, it's incredible having these things, you know, five, six minutes away. And then, of course, you have Colonial Williamsburg right at the street, five, seven minutes, which is going to put you close to a lot of really great restaurants like Second Street and Cachon on Second, stuff like that. So really cool area. Um, and I think that's one of the biggest benefits to being right here is that you also, this is a value area. So the neighborhoods we're going to look at today are all well below uh, the average for Williamsburg. So when you're looking at the home prices here, I think you'll be really happy compared to what you get in a lot of the other parts of, of Williamsburg. So really good value. Let's head over. I want to walk through Highgrove, tell you a lot about it. We're going to start here and then we'll, we'll take it from there. All right, let's go. Alrighty, we're in Highgrove. And so I started the video over by their rec fields because they have these great soccer fields, but they also have a really nice playground here around the corner. So really nice playground. You get that as part of about a $50 a month HOA fee. So you know, the thing about the the neighborhood High Grove and the other two neighborhoods that we're going to see today is that they're a little off the beaten path. You know, we're off of this road, Penniman, but we're east of Merrimack Trail. And that's going to put us really close to Water Country USA. Like it's just a couple minutes away, but it, but most people don't take Penniman to get to it. So it's not like it's on off of some crazy traffic road. Um, but if you are a parent, you need to get the Water Country USA uh, Bush Gardens Combo Pass. It will pay for itself 50 times over every single summer. Um, you can bring your kids there because you can be at either in five or six minutes. So you're going to be so close to both of those parks that you're just, I mean, whenever you need to get the kids to do something for four hours, you can bring them to one of those parks and they're going to have a blast. So, and you will too, to be honest. I mean, you know, who doesn't like Bush Gardens? So this neighborhood, you are looking at homes that are going to be between about 1,800 square feet and up to about 2,800 square feet. There were two builders in here, Sentax and H.H. Hunt. And I've worked with H.H. Hunt quite a few times, and 
they build a great product. One of my clients owns one of the Syntax houses. He's been there for seven or eight years now, maybe longer than that. And he's had a really great experience there. So really solid homes. Um, some are on a slab, some are on a crawl space. And they've been selling lately for kind of the, kind of like right around 400 plus or minus. So maybe like say 375 to, I mean, 445 is actually the high sale recently. That's actually a client of mine. Um, and so, you know, they can go up to 450, but that was kind of a fluky situation, to be honest. So, you know, you're really looking right now in early 2023, uh, you know, I've got a showing up the street actually this afternoon on one that hit the market at 390. So that gives you a good idea of, of where they are price wise. And, you know, this is just a really good spot. You know, like I have a couple clients in here. I just mentioned, you know, one is a firefighter at Langley Air Force Base. The other one's a physician at uh, Fort Eustace. So really easy to get to the bases. You know, you can just kind of shoot straight down uh, Penniman and just go down on Merrimack Trail, jump on the highway, and you can be down to, you know, the shipyard in Newport News within, you know, 30 minutes or so. So overall, you know, it's a really great area to be in. Um, and there's, you know, because it's a little off the beaten path, you are looking at closer to that like 400 kind of price range, as opposed to, some other parts of Williamsburg where you could really end up, you know, maybe a little bit higher than that. So good value here. Now we are in the Northern York County part of Williamsburg. So that's going to put our schools at, you know, Magruder Elementary, Queens Lake Middle and Bruton High. And I'll put a link in the description so you can go to niche.com and take a look at the ratings for those. So they're all really good. Um, I think people really love the school system around here. Um, being part of the York County school system. So a little, little confusing because Northern York County is considered part of Williamsburg, but um, that's just kind of the way it is. It's like Northern York County, James City County, and City of Williamsburg. Those all kind of combine to form what we call Williamsburg. So really good area, uh, great neighborhood. You're looking at, you know, you got the field back here. And really good amenities, $50 a month HOA I mentioned. You know, it's just, it's an easy place to live. So I'll jump in the car, I'll just drive you around a little bit more, and then we'll head to our next neighborhood. Alrighty, well now we are literally right next door in Carrington Meadows. This is one of the newest neighborhoods in Williamsburg and all 55 homes here were built in 2021 and 2022. Now you can see it's a lot of two-story homes, but you're also gonna have a single story option in this neighborhood that's about 14, 1500 square feet. And so you're seeing sale prices in here between right around 350 to 430. Now, of course, this being a really new neighborhood, we haven't seen too much resale. Almost all every sale has been 
uh, the first, you know, the, the initial purchase. Um, but given where this area is, we are, are actually starting to see them already go on market because we do have plenty of people here that only stay for a year and then they're gone. So this is a Ryan Homes community. And I always just tell everybody, do your research on Ryan Homes, decide if they are a good fit for you as a, from a builder perspective. And if, you, if you're good with it, then go for it. So, you know, not everybody is, is into a Ryan Homes home, but you know, this neighborhood, really nice. It's right next door to the last one we're in. So we don't have too much to talk about. $77 HOA fee here. There is a, um, there is a, um, a playground that we'll drive by in a second when we get in the car and they've got kind of like a little park here too. And then there's a path down that way that will take you down, um, down and back through. So kind of a neat little neighborhood and, um, you know, same conveniences, same everything else as the last neighborhood. It's just going to depend on if you like the style here and if you have, you know, if you like what, what they're building here in this neighborhood, what they've built here in this neighborhood, and if it's a better fit for you. So yeah. All right. Well, let's do it. Let's just jump back in the car. Um, you've already seen about half the neighborhood. It's only 55 houses, but I'll show you the other part too. And then we'll finish up at our third and final community. Alrighty, now we are right down the street in a neighborhood called Peniman East. So we drove maybe about a third of a mile. We're still on the same side of Peniman in this neighborhood, Peniman East. And we'll give you a quick 360 here. We're up at the beginning of the neighborhood. We've got a big field, the playground, and kind of a sheltered area here. And then if you head down that way, there's another uh, kind of like jungle gym looking uh, play area as well. It's pretty cool. So. This neighborhood, again, not very big, about you know 75 homes. And the big thing with this neighborhood is that it's such an incredible value. You are looking at sales. The last sales in this neighborhood have all been in like the low to mid 300s. So like 320, 330. And that's kind of crazy to get into York County, get into York County schools, Williamsburg area, and still be in the low 300s for these size homes. And, you know, they're they're not huge, but they're a really nice size. You know, you're looking at a lot of homes between about 1,450 and about 2,700 square feet. So these are nice size homes, um, good neighborhood built in 1999, 2001 era. So, you know, they're not brand new, but they're, they're certainly not old. The one thing you need to worry about at 23, 24 years old is, has the roof been replaced? How's the, the HVAC system? All that kind of stuff. So, there are certainly are things that come along with buying a 20, 25 year old house because it tends to be in that like turnover sort of stage. But, you know, if you can get a place where some of those things have been done for you or at this price point, just budget for it. Since most of the homes in this 
you know, in this area are probably, you know, are much closer to 400,000, you know, just go back to, um, to High Grove, you know, those are like 400,000. They're a little bit bigger and a little bit newer than these ones, but you know, this is a great value, great opportunity to get in this area at a low cost. All right. So what I'm going to do, hop in the car one more time, drive you around so you can see the whole neighborhood. And then I have a showing in High Grove in a little bit, I got to get back over there. So we're gonna we're gonna wrap up for the day after we after we drive around. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really do hope you found it helpful. If you are looking to get into this York County School District or we want to be up in Williamsburg, this is a really great value area. So again, close to Bush Gardens, Water Country USA, easy access to bases, easy to Colonial Williamsburg. You can really get to everything from here. So to be able to get to this area at this price point is really great. And so if you are shopping in kind of this the say 300 to 450 range, this could be a really great target area for you. So do me a favor, if you have any comments or questions, leave those below and I'll reply to them as soon as possible. If you are ready to get started with your home search, give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email. My team and I are here and we are ready to help. In the meantime, like this video, share it with anyone else you know who may be looking for a home in the Williamsburg area, and then subscribe to this channel. Again, my name is David Tortellini. I'm with eXp Realty. Thank you so much for watching.